Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing selectins. Okay, so we're in the process of discussing L-selectin. Okay, so we've just discussed that um, naive T lymphocytes are not uh, bound in one lymph node. Instead, they can move out of the lymph node, go into the blood, and then uh, circulate in the blood for a while, and then move into another uh, lymph node. And it's these uh, high endothelial venules, so named because the endothelial cells are very tall, unlike the usual squamous endothelial cell that most uh, post-capillary venules have. Uh, that are involved in uh, moving the t naive T lymphocytes uh, out of the blood and into the lymph node and also out of the lymph node and back into the blood. Okay, so uh, the naive T lymphocytes have on their surface the selectin L-selectin, okay? So this is different to the P-selectin and the E-selectin, where it was the endothelial cell that had the selectin in those cases. Uh, in the uh, case of L-selectin, it's the uh, white blood cell that has the um, selectin on its surface. So here is L-selectin on the surface of uh, the naive T lymphocyte. Now, uh, these high endothelial venules have on their surface a uh, cell adhesion molecule which is going to bind with the L-selectin. Okay, so let's draw a high endothelial uh, cell here. Okay, so here we have its nucleus and it's sitting on the uh, basement membrane again. So here's our basement membrane in turquoise. Right, now the cell adhesion molecule that these high endothelial cells have is what's known as glycam-1, okay? Now, this does not fit into any of the uh, cell adhesion molecule families that I have told you about. It is not an immunoglobulin superfamily uh, cell adhesion molecule. It's not a... Um, it's not an um, integrin, it's not a selectin, and neither is it a cadherin. In, instead, it's a cell adhesion molecule that doesn't fit into any of those families. So not all cell adhesion molecules do fit into one of those four families. So L-selectin is going to bind to the glycam-1 on the high endothelial uh, cell here, which I'll colour in in blue. Okay, and this is going to tether the uh, naive T lymphocyte, which was in the blood, to this high endothelial venule cell, and it will then be moved across the endothelium via diapedesis into uh, the uh, cortex or the paracortex of the lymph node. So L-selectin is involved in the movement of naive T lymphocytes from the blood back into a lymph node. 